It is apple picking time here in central New York. And our Brandon Roth is live right now at Abbott's Farms in Baldwinsville to tell us which ones are ready to eat. Good morning, Brandon. Hey, good morning, Jeremy. Good morning. That's right. We are here at Abbott's Farms with Warren Abbott, one of our favorite apple picking spots uh, here. And let's get right to talking about it because a lot of people that have already gone out at apple picking, everyone said the same thing. Apples are a little smaller this year. But it's not why people may think the reason. Well, there's actually two reasons. Yeah. Uh, these trees are not irrigated, so obviously the lack of water hurt them. Yeah. Uh, the second reason that people may not realize yeah. is uh, we had a lot of cold temperatures back April 4th and 5th. Yeah. And so cold we were. Cold as in 10, 5 below zero. And killed a lot of fruit buds. Yeah. We lost between uh, 60 and 90 percent of our fruit buds. Wow. Yeah. And so then you don't know how many buds to leave on, how yeah. many apples to leave on, because you don't right. know how many are going to just fall off on their own. So you actually have to leave more, because more apples may fall, you leave more on the tree, and when more apples are on the tree, they grow smaller. Exactly. So normally you thin a tree, and the apples that remain get more nutrients, and they get bigger. So this is a Macintosh here. Even this is smaller. Then it could a, be. Then it could be. Th this represents one cluster. Yeah. In an ideal yeah. year, these two we would have taken off. Yeah so that that's we right. had one apple to grow big. We right. call this the king bloom, and that's the, right. that's the apple we want to grow. There's, there's five apples right. in a cluster. So again, the, two, the, the lack of rain, Yes. and that cold weather that we had in April, which killed off a lot. We talked with blueberry farmers, and you have blueberries. Yes. It killed off a lot of blueberries as well, uh, and both of those things. The good news is there may be smaller, but there's more apples than ever. There's, so you just, yeah, have to, you just have to get a lot of littler apples this year, and, and, and they're good eating. And if you're buying them by a bushel, you'll actually get more pounds. There you go. So there's always a silver lining in every cloud, guys. You get, you can get more apples. They're just a little smaller this year, but they're still great. Good to know. Yes. Thanks, Brandon. I like this. I like. Yeah. All right, Brandon. Thanks so much.